I am so excited to start this new series where I try things for a month and let you guys know if it's worth trying or not. First thing we're trying is rosemary water because I hate, hate, hate this part of my hair. It kind of runs in the family, but still I wanted to give it a shot and see if rosemary water was gonna change anything. Most of you have heard of rice water and rice water is also great for your hair and I definitely want to try rice water soon, maybe on all of my hair, but today we're just going to be focusing on this part of my head. I don't want to show you right now because this is the result. Before I tell you how I made rosemary water, which is the easiest thing on the planet, I want to just explain why I didn't use rosemary oil and simply because oil is oily. The rosemary water, I can kind of spray it and then leave the house and nobody's gonna notice. It's just like water. So oil is definitely more concentrated and stronger. When you apply the oil, you're gonna have to shower afterward. Anyway, so to do your rosemary water, all you need is some rosemary from the supermarket. So here's the brand that I got for reference. It was really, really cheap and it's just like a handful of rosemary. You're not going to need more than that. You can even use less than that, honestly. Clean them very well by soaking them in water and rinsing them maybe two to three times. Place them in a pan and add about one cup or two cups of water. Wait until the water is boiling on like a medium heat and then you can turn it down to a low heat. Cover the pan and let it simmer for about 20 to 25 minutes and then turn off the heat and let it cool and then drain them. Now you can just fill your bottle and that's it. I did way too much water, don't do it like me. As I said, use one to two cups of water and that's enough. Here's a quick and horrible view of the before on my hair and you can see it's really really thin on this part of my head and literally I have no hair there. If you also have like frizzy curly hair and if you spray it with water it's just not gonna look as cute. I recommend spraying the rosemary water as soon as you come out of the shower so when your hair is still damp just spray it wherever you want and then just style and dry your hair how you would normally like the second that you spray it it does have a little bit of a smell i don't know if it's like it's not a bad smell but it's also not a good smell but it instantly goes away like you're not gonna smell like rosemary unless you're probably putting like a very big quantity i'm not sure because i was just spraying a few sprays on the sides um and also another thing that I noticed is that throughout the days, like about 10 days later, the rosemary water starts to become a bit flaky. Um, at first I was like, ew, I'm not gonna spray this, but once you shake it, it completely dissolves. Now I'm not sure if the rosemary water is going bad or something, um, but it seemed fine, like the color was fine. Definitely don't use the same one after a month. I would rather like buy rosemary and do it again. So the natural properties found in rosemary water will boost your hair growth by inhibiting hormonal changes that lead to hair loss. It will also improve circulation to the hair follicles, act as an antioxidant and decrease inflammation of the scalp. So it's also been said that it can darken the color of your hair. I did not notice anything happen like that, but I guess if you apply it on your entire head, it might. So here's a before of the left side of my head and here's an after. Ignore the bleach patches. I bleach my own hair and that's my problem. I don't know what happened here. And now here's a before of the right side of my face and here is the after. So honestly guys, I think there are way better ways for you to grow your hair faster. I think rosemary water did make a slight difference. I'm thinking about trying rosemary oil next time or probably rice water. So this brings me back to my question, is it worth trying? If you're gonna try it for a month, I would say no, it's not worth it. It's not gonna make a huge difference. You can try oils, I think that's gonna be better. Um, but if you wanna do it on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm sure it will be helping the growth of your hair and all the other like benefits that it has on your scalp. So I would suggest do a batch, 
leave the spray in your room and just whenever you remember spray your hair or whenever you shower and you don't have to just spray it on your scalp you can even spray your entire hair like even the ends that's my final review about rosemary water leave a comment down below if you want me to try something else for a month thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next video bye